Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and I once again join with Kenzie. <laughs> Hello, I am so glad to be back here again. <laughs> and I, I it's it's been a while since I actually sat down for a Wattpad recording, so it feels nice. <laughs> but uh, the wheel has been spun and it landed on Noko, which means we get to continue this book that we found a while ago. <laughs> Yay! How fun! I, I think it's been a month since we read this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has been a while. Yeah, so if we're lost, that's probably why. <laughs> but I, I yeah. pulled up the chapter we last left off on, and so we're starting anew. We're gonna try to figure it out as we go. I, I yes. think what happened was is that we, we Noah started total drama. He got kicked out. He's been chilling on Pal Paladin Losers, and then Cody shows up. He's, like, battered from the bear attack, and they're, like, becoming closer as friends. Yep. That that does sound about right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. For a second I thought you said- for a second I heard Paldea- Paldea the losers, <laughs> but- Dude, you're on that, like, uh, you're on that sword and shield mindset right now. <laughs> yes. No, I cannot blame you on that one, because I, I was playing Pokemon- like earlier for recording and this guy yeah. the tech said I'm gonna I'm king of karate and I read it as I'm gonna be king of the pirates <laughs> and I was like oh I'm in, I'm way too into one piece right now <laughs> <laughs> we're both um, we're both stuck on our hyperfixation <laughs> yes absolutely alright oh, so I, what's the name of this book again? It's called Learning to Love You, uh, Noah X. Cody. So we're starting at one, two, th chapter four. I yeah. believe these are lengthy, so we'll probably do either two or three. But I want to bring right. everyone's attention to the amount of comments right here. <laughs> there is 999. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> and, I, and I just, like, right here, like, from this view, I already see one line that has 142. So we're, we're going crazy right now. <laughs> Yep. Alright, so, uh, is there any volunteers, or we could flip my iPhone and see what happens. <laughs> Let's flip the iPhone, because that's more fun. Alright, uh, do you want to be the screen, or the backside? The, like, the case? I'll be the screen. Okay, I'm gonna do this on my couch, so that way I don't break my phone. <laughs> Alright. Well, you say, you said backside, right? Um... I said screen. Oh, screen. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. All right. It's backside. That means I have to start. <laughs> oh. Okie dokie. All right. Access denied. Drama granted. I know what you're probably expecting at that to be the moment when I confess my love to him. And he would either A, shoot me down then and there, but in a nice way, of course, because it's Cody. B, accept my love, even if it if he doesn't return it. C. We make out and have cheeky butt sex. <laughs> no wonder why there's 142 comments. <laughs> it's like, what? Can't make this shit up if I wanted to. I was not ready. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> well, none of the above happened because two weeks later, I still haven't told him how I feel. Maybe it's because I was hoping that if I s express my feelings enough, eventually they'll die out. Or maybe it's because I'm a coward and I'm afraid of failure. Which is true. No, it doesn't fail. Not on a test, not on an argument. Ever. If I did confess my admiration to Cody, which I do not plan on, I wouldn't expect him to like me back. I wouldn't be mad. I'm not even sure if I, I'll be ridiculously upset if he didn't feel the same. Mostly because I know he doesn't. That kid's so hung up on the gorgeous Gwen. Anyway, he and I spent a good amount of time together. Each week we get together with Tyler and Justin to watch Total Drama together. The one that aired this week was the one Katie got kicked out at. But by now, Courtney and Sadie have joined us at Plaza. But not gonna lie, Courtney's gone a bit loco. I mean, she carries around a goddamn curtain rod around her. This place is becoming just a train wreck. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yeah, isn't like, when they show off like all the campers that went to Palo de Loser. Isn't she holding like like a light post? <laughs> like hunting down Harold? Yeah, she's holding the light post and, he, and she was like smacking the hell out of Harold yeah. with it. 
Like, yeah, doesn't she, like, bend it around his body? <laughs> and yeah. everything? Girl is strong and crazy. She really is. Okay. Cody was curled up on the couch. His tired eyes drooped lazily, fixed on the fixed on the TV that was quietly playing Friends. He had a soft blanket wrapped around him and was cradling a mug of hot hot chocolate in his hands. That's adorable. I was seated on the other end of the couch. My legs stretched out so my feet were touching Cody's leg. I had the comforter on my, on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> draped, o- draped over my body. Sorry, sorry, a bit of a blooper there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Co- Cody, what the- Cody, what time is it? He jumped a little- He jumped a little as if waking- <laughs> waking up from a trance. Oh, uh, he looked at his watch. 11.23. I sat up and smoothed out my ruffled hair. Wanna go back to your room now? Wait, wait. Wanna go back to your room now? Get some sleep? I groaned. Scratching my shoulder, he shook his head. It's not even that late. He lied. He's yawning. Dude, you're exhausted, and so am I. So I'm going to bed. I switched off the TV and stood up, picking the comforter from the couch. I went to the bedroom, shutting the door, and threw the blanket lazily onto the bed. I took off my pants and shirt and crawled between the sheets. I waited for the second of him leaving the room. But I fell asleep within a minute, so I never confirmed that he actually left. And of course, he didn't. When I got up to go to the bathroom, probably around 6.30 in the morning, there he was, his mouth open a little so, so I could hear his soft breathing. His blanket had fallen and was only covering one of his legs. I sighed and covered him up, doing my best not to disturb him. It took so much out of me not to kiss his squishy, <laughs> his squishy tired teeth. Oh my gosh. Bro's down. Bad for this kid, bro. <laughs> for real. <laughs> oh gosh. 126 comments on this paragraph. Alright, let's see what's in the paragraph that made them comment. Oh my word. <laughs> but I didn't. So I grabbed my key and went down the hall into the bathroom to pee. Luckily for me, I could hear who I'm pretty sure was Ezekiel thinking to do some personal business. What? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, uh, I think I know what they're implying and I don't want to say it. <laughs> oh, Wait, I think so too. Oh no. Oh no. Bro, this is a <laughs> Wendy's, my guy. What the? <laughs> I don't want to look at that. I don't think my computer's going to let me look at the comments, but even if I if it, even if it did, I I don't want to look. <laughs> I know what people me are probably going to say. Oh, me all right, I shall take over now. <laughs> when I got back to the room, Cody was still asleep, but he had rolled over, so his blanket was now laying completely on the floor. I just rolled my eyes and left him there. I threw on my day clothes and walked down to the kitchen to grab a smoothie. I wish I could just walk downstairs and grab a fucking smoothie. It sounds awesome. Same. It sounds, yeah, I love that. <laughs> I, I get to do that in my new store that I'm moving to. They have a smoothie oh, bar, yeah. so I get to, like, every day at work, I could just go over to the, the beer den and just be like, can I get your finest smoothie? Oh, nice! <laughs> I know. That's I, so awesome. I'm so excited to do that every day. I'm gonna be poor by the end. <laughs> <laughs> My best friend Eva was down there, pounding the life out of what used to be a fruit because it wouldn't juice. <laughs> it's like a pineapple. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, Why did I read that as a dirty joke for a second? What, that it wouldn't juice? <laughs> <laughs> I managed to steal a canned smoothie from the refrigerator. A, from the fridge, A, make it back up in one piece. <gasps> one piece! <laughs> Let's go! The one piece is real! <laughs> You cannot escape the One Piece lore. It's on this book and everything. <laughs> yes. And the Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> I opened the door to see a still sleeping Cody that had been that had fallen onto the floor, blanket and all. An audible sigh escaped my sarcastic lips as I bent down to scoop him up. I wouldn't ex- I I would have expected him to be lighter and smaller like a toddler. And sometimes I forget the dude's 16. 
Which, now that I say it, sounds creepy given that I wouldn't be opposed to doing dirty things with him. God, I cannot believe that that produced in my mind. I need to stop talking. Oh my god. I walked to my own bedroom. Cody's still miraculously asleep in my arms, and I set him in the bed. I spread his blanket across him and tucked him in delicately in his sides so he wouldn't be freak- freaking falling off this time. His breathing was whims- oh whimsy and shallow, so I knew he was genuinely asleep, so I took the chance. God, <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Main tem- Main temis pariar. I, I whispered. It means I love you in Hindi for all you English speaking folks. Thank God. Thank God you told me. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was like a thing to the side, something like how to pronounce these words. <laughs> like they do yeah. like dictionary, like for different words. Right. <laughs> no, he didn't hear me. And even if he did, he wouldn't understand. Yet, I feel like I, I lifted the secret of my admiration for him off my scrawny chest. And I probably would have stood there just staring at him until someone... What? Oh. <laughs> Why are they... Uh, and so someone uh, knocked furiously on the door. Well, I don't know why they put that. They could have just put knocked. <laughs> Waking me out of the Cody-induced trance and Cody out of his sleep. I ran to get the door without looking back at Cody. Likely he would be a bit weirded out by being in my bed with me looming over it. Which is totally fair. I opened the door with an aggressive what? Which came out gayer than I intended. <laughs> To see a slightly offended looking Beth. I didn't wake you, did I? She coughed out. And I shook my head. What do you want, Beth? It's really early still. She started twiddling her thumb. She, pro- she was probably the human embodiment of the awkward middle school phase. You don't have to call me out like that. <laughs> but she happened to, to be hitting it at age 16. One one of the interns accidentally put a T H. Oh, I think because she has braces, they're like making it sound like she's like oh, kind of yeah. spitting. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. One of the interns interns sh- says one of one of us will, will have will have the chance the chance to go b- back on the show, or so. <laughs> if if we if we want that, it is. She, she trailed off, probably intimidated by my grumpy morning look. By this time, <coughs> by this time, Cody had this. Cody had made his way way groggily at, out of the bed. His blanket wrapped around his shoulders. He seemed to be half asleep. So I'm hoping he doesn't think too deeply, deeply into, into the whole waking up in my bed business. I'm in, he says with a lazy grin. I immediately shook my head. I couldn't. You could have paid me a million dollars to make me go back to that place, I spat. Cody looked at me as as if disappointed I was going to participate. But he didn't object to it. This isn't happening right now, is it? Cody asked Beth. She shook her head. She shook her head. Christmas is coming coming in here here up uh, coming in here uh, uh, about an hour. She said, realizing a rain of saliva from her metalwork <laughs> mouth. Ew. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the face of disgust I usually internalize emerged right about then. Cody nodded, and I shut the door. Bye, Beth, I grunted and turned to face Cody. I'm shocked you could fall asleep in my room, fall off the couch twice, be, be relocated into the bedroom, and still not wake up. <laughs> he laughed but rolled his eyes. What can I say? I'm a deep sleeper, he chuckled. I smirked at him and sat on the couch. Noah, how come you how come you aren't going to try to go back? It's a hundred grand. He sat down beside me, still wrapped still wrapped in his blanket. His bare feet were pale and they and they and they padded up and down when when he tapped his leg. He he is quite the ADHD kid. And uh, as he, as he, as he always moving in some way. The the little dude can't sit. The little dude can't sit still. 
Because because staying in a robin cabin, staying in a robin cabin with a bunch of sketchy people and risking my life, and risking my life once a week for the sake of entertainment isn't exactly my slice of pie. Understandable. <laughs> he shrugged. I guess. But if I win, I might get another chance at Gwen. I shook my head. Isn't there a girl that, in that competition that you want to see again? Unless she's already eliminated, I guess. But the only hot girl here is Courtney, and she's a nut- Who said it was the girls I'm into? He proceeded to list the possible male crushes for me. But I- but I said didn't register in, until 10 seconds later. <laughs> He's a little oh. slow. <laughs> right. Oh, you are like that? He said in the most friendly, cautious way possible. I smirked. I'm shocked you haven't figured it out yet, honey. Honey? Honey? Oh, God. He's getting him flirty. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> Hold up. We already called them honey even though they're not together <laughs> Like, uh, maybe it's a gay thing? I don't know. <laughs> I- me neither. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I got a laugh out of him. I- 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 I guess- I guess that does explain a lot, he grinned. <laughs> but- but are there any dudes you're into in the competition? Because I bet I could- Because I bet I could, like, put in a good word for you and help you out, he rambled. Getting all excited. I let I let him talk until he started talking about having a double date with Gwen and Trent. <laughs> At first I heard it I heard it as he and I would, would be together. But then I realized he was talking about setting me up with Trent. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I never said I was into any of the guy any of the guys here, I defended, putting putting my hands in a mock putting my hands up putting my hands up in mock surrender. <laughs> well, 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 don't, well, don't you think, well, don't you think any of them are hot? He asked innocently. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course. Damn, this is like, I, <laughs> this is a lot of information taken out. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> uh, would Would you like me to to do the reading from, from and finish out this chapter? Not sure. All right, let's see. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, of course. How would you rate the guys from hottest to least hot? Cody interrupted, obviously intrigued by the new information of my homosexuality. <laughs> uh, I'd say Jeff being the hottest. Justin, Duncan, Tyler, Trent, DJ, myself, you, and then the rest are too ugly to be put on that list. I shrugged. He looked both amazed and mildly offended. <laughs> I'm last on the decent list? You even put yourself before me, he giggled, trying not to sound angry. Hey, at least you made it on the list. Fair enough, he reasoned. We sat for 30 seconds of possibly the most awkward silence ever. So, you like Jeff? He asked. I lulled at his, <laughs> I lulled at his naivety. No, I just said he was the hottest. Cody gave a small shrug and finally stopped asking questions. Well, I guess I can't. Bleh. Well, I guess I can't make you go for another shot," he said, standing up. He stretched out his skinny arms and headed towards the front door. "I'll talk to you. Talk to you after, unless I win, of course." He chuckled and let the door close softly behind him. I slumped onto the couch, shaking my head of, to myself. This was my chance to tell him how I feel. I sighed and clicked on the TV, watching some sketchy reality show on whatever channel Cody and- oh. Wait. <laughs> I sighed and clicked the TV, watching some sketchy reality show on whatever channel, I guess, Cody put on. I guess they just forgot to do that. <laughs> and eventually dozed off into a buzzing sound of a bunch of fat white guys bunking junk from one another. What show is this? A bunch of fat white dudes buying junk from other- Oh, Fuck, what's the name of that show? They buy like- They buy like, like storage units and they bet on them and they're like, Yes, we found this like, always unique thing in there. What? Is it, a, is it called like- 
it's called like pawn shop stars or something. Yeah, pawn stars. One that, um, the one I'm thinking of is that like they they go to the um, these sites where they have like storage units for people and like they buy out ones that people stop paying so they can't collect their yeah. stuff. So then they'll bet on like storage units. I think it's called storage wars. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what they're talking. About. I didn't. Heard- I haven't heard of that one before, actually. It's really good. Yeah? Yeah. It, it's, mm-hmm. no matter what, they always follow, like, the same four group. And, then it, like, no matter what storage unit they buy, they somehow find, like, a very unique item. And then they take huh. it to, like, a specialist. And they're like, mm, this is a real fine piece of art. And then they're like, and then they buy it off of them. Interesting. When I made my way down the stairs and into the kitchen, I could hear Corny bitching to someone about something. However, it was inaudible to hear her screeching voice. Once I turned the corner, I saw her sitting at the bar with Katie, Sadie, Cody, and a mildly terrified Tyler. I deserve a chance to go back. I was kicked off unfairly. And that meat brain gets to go back and threaten the pants off of everyone again when no one really liked her anyway. And she never even had a chance. Cody was just nodding with her rand while K- Katie was trying to engage with the screaming Latina nutbag, allegedly <laughs> trying to interrupt by Corny's a constant screaming of Mattis escaping her glossy lips. <laughs> fucking Corny is fucking crazy. <laughs> she really is. She needs some help for real, real. She, if anyone needs therapy on the on Total Drama, it's got to be Courtney. well Izzy first, and then Corny. <laughs> well, Izzy, yeah, and then Courtney. And then probably Eva, but that's for, like... Eva, yeah. Yeah, but that's mainly for, like, anger issue down to therapy. Anger management. Part of me said to just turn around now and not get involved. My curiosity went over, and I ended up taking a seat right in the right of Courtney, who was still going on about Harold's wrongdoing. Turns out that scrawny geek rigged the votes to get Courtney off the show. Getting revenge at Duncan. Turns out, Courtney was not impressed. <laughs> oh no. When he gets his skinny ass off that island, oh boy, is he gonna get the whole summer of TIT training coming at him. She interrupted, throwing several graves at the cement floor, making one bounce back and rigging right off of poor Tyler's eye, making Damn. him fall into the pavement, knocking him unconscious. Bro, how are you, how are you gonna be an athlete and be this weak? <laughs> Wait, yeah, a freaking rake got thrown at him and it knocked him unconscious. Like, Tyler. yeah. Wow. Courtney ignored it and kept rambling on. <laughs> she just killed the man, but just, just out. Kept no. rambling on. Just yep. Kept ranting. <laughs> well, Cody stood there to investigate Tyler's body sprawled across the floor. He poked his finger at Tyler's face, but he didn't even flinch. Cody shrugged and kind of kicked him out of the way. Oh my god. Everyone's mean to Tyler <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, what did Tyler do? Yeah, all he did was stand there and he got he got knocked <laughs> out by a grape. <laughs> all he did was exist and then he got knocked out. Yeah. For real. I sighed. I sighed, stood up, and walked over to Tyler. I grabbed his legs and lifted him off the ground, making Tyler's upper half roll like a like a bleach fish. Grab his arms, I instructed Cody. He did as told, and I walked backwards down the stairs to carry Tyler to the pool deck. We went. We set him on the the lounge chair next to the sunbathing Justin, who just kind of stared at the dude. What an unfortunate man, mused Cody, stretching out his back. I nodded. Karma will replay him one day. <laughs> Cody looked at the, the light. Cody looked like a light had just flickered in his hypothetical attic. That's right, you're Hindu. I shook my head. Not in the least, I'm Indian, but I I don't worship the Hindu gods. It's irrational and rather time-consuming. I shrugged, making Cody laugh. Sorry, I guess that was kind of (laughs) racist. I shrugged again, making him giggle. He took his sandals off and sat on the edge of the pool, dangling his feet in the water. I sat beside him, but kept all apple inches out of the pool. We on again for total drama again tonight, right? Wait. We on again for total drama again tonight, I asked him. He nodded. <laughs> yeah, but I think Tower's gonna... Tower's a little bit out of commission for tonight, so it'll probably just be us. He laughed. I managed a friendly smirk at his comment. Fair enough. Alright. Like 
quite the run on sentence with with that one right there. Yeah. We on again for total drama. Yeah, we they on again for total drama again tonight. Yeah, they. I don't think if they took out this like and at the very end, that would have been a nice sentence. But I think because yes. they added this like two. <laughs> All right. Why is there one thousand comments? <laughs> Wait, I got to add on my on my thing. Hold on. Oh, you're doing it on your phone. <laughs> yeah. So I got ads. Boo, you didn't buy premium? Or <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't worry, I didn't do that either. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, like I'm gonna buy premium for a, for a free website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's like asking me if I'm gonna buy the premium for like, uh, character AI. Like, I'm not now doing that. that. Means I wanna buy Premium. Yeah, it always does that after every goddamn. <laughs> it's okay. like, yeah, these these ads are annoying, right? You should uh, give us money, <laughs> right? <laughs> give us money, and we'll get rid of your ad. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, next chapter: Platonic playdate. <laughs> uh, I had one hundred and one point twenty-eight k comments. These people are too damn bad. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> okay. Cody cracked open a third bottle of Mountain Dew. It isn't supposed to be... Isn't Justin supposed to be with us? I shook my head crushing up my empty soda and empty soda can and tossing it behind the couch. I invited his, but he said today... But he said today is, is, mud, is mud wrap day, so he, so he can't, I said. Rolling my eyes at the dude's lack of masculinity. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe I'm not not one to speak, but at least I admit to being gay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Facts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Total drama ended up ended ended about an hour ago, and Cody and, and, and Cody and, and and Cody and I have been <laughs> in my room watching Palm Stars since. Yes. Who so, talking about? Nice. <laughs> We were laying with our backs on opposite sides of the couch, and our legs tangled together in the cen- <laughs> in the center. It it was way too hot for a blanket, so we both lay in t-shirts and shorts. After Cody threw <laughs> after Cody threw down his empty soda bottle and and reached and reached for his fourth, I stopped him. Whoa, little dude! <laughs> think you can handle that much? Think you can handle that much? Damn, this sounds like my boy at a, <laughs> when I was partying on Saturday. Actually, it was Friday when, during an amazement. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's like, you you might need to slow it down. I'm like, I got this. I could not handle it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He laughed and nodded his head and, and grabbed the green can, popping it open and pouring down his throat. I rolled my eyes and continued watching the TV program. If Owen were on the show, he'd fit right in. I, I pointed out bluntly. Fr- frankly, it was it wasn't that funny, but it was funny enough to make Cody Cody laugh so hard that Mountain Dew bubbles came out of out of his nose. <laughs> okay, that's enough do for you, I said, reaching re- reaching over to take the bottle out of his hand. I. I poured what was left in my mouth and threw the empty container on on the trashed floor. He stuck his lip out at me in a in a fake pout, but I just smirked. Damn. You'll be fine, kid. Was this like a he two liter was- bottle or was this like a like a normal soda bottle? I have no I I don't even know. So that was a honestly. two liter. That I'd be impressed that he chugged almost the entire like Cody chugged <laughs> yeah. almost the entire thing. <laughs> me too. <laughs> And that, like, if it actually was a two-liter, that means he drank, like, three before. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's canon. That. It's canon in this. He drank three two-liter yeah. bottles. <laughs> <laughs> that means he, like, almost drank eight liters of Mountain Dew in one night. My word. Bold move there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He rolled his eyes at me. He rolled his eyes at me, laughing. Then he then he sat up and swung his legs onto the floor. Noah, uh, Noah, we should do something. 
No, no, we weren't going. We weren't going to go get more Mountain Dew. C Cody turned his body towards me, my eyes fixed to the television to prevent myself from staring at him. No, I mean like an adventure. I reached for the remote and clicked off the TV. There's not really much we can do here. We can we can climb to the roof. We can we can climb to the roof of, of the of the play of the playa and and watch the sunset. He shrugged, picking up the empty bottles. How and romantic. <laughs> throwing them towards the garbage bin, allegedly missing most shots and having the containers bounce across the room. That's one of the gayest <laughs> things I've ever heard. Oh my gosh. I said coolly, stretching out my back. <laughs> <laughs> then you haven't looked in the mirror, er? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> with yourself. Damn, I tried. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> this sounds like me trying to come up with an insult back. <laughs> just like, right. just messing up, fumbling through it. Right. <laughs> I could have hold back my laughter at at that one. Nice try, buddy. Sunset, sunset roof, roofing it is. He grinned and dumped his collection of soda bottles into the trash can. I, I wonder who got kicked off tonight, Cody commented, sitting back down on the couch. Judging by the amount of raging fits coming from Courtney, my my bet's on Harold. Yep. Yeah. Or, uh, Cody shrugged, smiling slightly. When he wasn't trying to put on a when he wasn't trying to put on a knack, so, so so people thought he was cool. He's actually a really genuine, attractive guy. Ooh. Ooh, damn. We're getting a bit of romance. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Of course, it saddens me slightly that he doesn't that he doesn't put on an act for me. But but I'd rather him be comfortable with me and myself be friends out. Then to hope for him to keep putting on a mask of fake confidence. It tears him apart, and I know it. I've heard him sobbing at night through his bedroom door. I can see the hurt in his eyes. The Cody Meister is only a character, and the real Cody is just an actor, a terrible one, but but an actor all the same. Damn, alright, let's see what, what the fuck I'm dealing with now. <laughs> okay, so you had a good plan at all, Captain, but how are we getting on the roof? Cody had put on long jeans and a maroon sweatshirt with Glacier's National Park written across it. I, however, made the lousy decision to stay in my dark wash jean shorts and black polo tee I've been wearing for the last three days. There's a washroom by the infirmary, but I've just been too lazy to read that reusing the clothes just seems more practical. Before we not, soldier, there's a closet with a ladder that- bleh. There's a closet with a ladder in it that Ezekiel showed me the other day. I mean, he fell off of it, but at least I know about it. <laughs> Why the fuck was he climbing the ladder? <laughs> Ezekiel's just crazy. <laughs> so, that's how we ended up in the infirmary. Makes sense. <laughs> I shrugged. Cody gestured towards the door of my apartment room and called out, Onward, with a little too much energy for someone who's about to watch a Canadian sunset for the from a roof of the building. What makes the sunset Canadian? That they're just watching in Canada? <laughs> yeah, that's to me. What even is a? I have never heard of a Canadian sunset. <laughs> yeah, like they're watching like the sunset. sunset. Yeah, they're just watching the sunset, and then like at like right across it, like a moose like jumps by. <laughs> that's, yeah. I guess that's what makes it Canadian. Yeah, right. <laughs> he, he led his army of one to a closet at the end of the hallway by the infirmary. Inside the closet was a rickety ladder that went to the ceiling. I followed up. I followed Cody up cautiously and crawled my way onto the roof of the Paldea. The roof was just industrial cement with no walls or anything, which was quite underwhelming in comparison to the rest of the Pala. Cody sat a good distance from the ledge in a crisscross applesauce mode. Come on, chicken pants, sit on the edge with me. I smirked, swinging my legs over the side. I looked down at the pool deck below. There were a few people sitting at the, the juice bar, but I couldn't tell who exactly they, who, who they were. 
After some time, Cody joined me on the edge of the building. He sat far enough away that it was comfortable, but close enough to be touching arms. Whoa, this is too much PDA for me. <laughs> Noah, aren't you cold? I shrugged. It's Canada, dude. This is summer weather. He looked he looked convinced and looked below of who I'm pretty sure was Katie and Sadie tossing a beach ball back and forth. Noah, I know you listed the hottest guys. I would, how would you rate the girls? I gave it some thought because honestly, I didn't think about it much. Bridget is the hottest and then probably Courtney, Heather, Lindsay, Katie, Izzy, Lashana, Gwen, Sadie, Beth, Eva. Will do thought about it for a second. He opened his mouth to say something, but then shut it again and went back into thought. After an awkward two minutes or so, he finally spoke up. If I had to rate the guys, I'd be Trent as the hottest. Then probably you, Justin, Jeff, DJ, then, I don't know. I'd say Duncan, but he never really struck me as attractive. So maybe Tyler, then, I don't know. The rest I never really paid attention to. You're able to how do you how dare you put Duncan so low on this list? <laughs> That's not where I would put him. <laughs> yeah. He done him so dirty. Yeah, I, if I, if you ask me how I would rank the, the the guys, I would say Duncan first and then DJ and then like it doesn't matter <laughs> for the rest. I knew it. <laughs> I figured you would cuz he has green hair. Yeah. Anyone who does not know already, I tend to uh, simp for green-haired men and women. <laughs> yeah. I, w I would have just said men, but like, I, w I recently in like One Piece, uh, there's this- Well, during my current arc right now, there's this dude, I, I believe his name was last name Mayo, I think. But in the last yeah. arc, there was this really pretty lady called Monet, and she had pretty yeah. green hair. <laughs> And I was like, oh like, no! I love how like almost every- I love how like almost every single one of your crushes are just green haired characters. Yeah, I, I like recently played Metopia again on a different account because I, I didn't have the heart to delete my old party members. And I was like, yeah. I want to see just how many green haired crushes I have. I filled up the entire party. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's like me and like nine other green haired people. <laughs> You must really like green hair. Yeah, I don't know why. And they like all have different personalities and everything, and it just all just comes down to the hair. God, if 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 Cameron ever dyes some of his orange hair green, I'm gonna be folding like a lawn chair. <laughs> oh god, where the hell was I? I felt my teeth flush. Me too. <laughs> He thought me, a skinny-ass brown sack of sarcasm, was the second hottest guy on the show. I mean, Trent's musical butt beat me, but that dude is pretty hot. <laughs> I don't know- I didn't know you put me in- into- wait. I didn't know you put me into the guys, Mr. Ladies Man. I'll put thought. I'm so- <laughs> Mr. Ladies Man? Yeah, Mr. Ladies Man. <laughs> he shrugged. <laughs> I don't know. I guess talking to you made me think about it. I laughed and looked over at him. His pale cheeks were flushed from the wind and his hair was blowing backwards softly. And it was something that in that moment, in his focused look, his soft hair and the sunset behind them that made me think about how beautiful he really is. I know beautiful is supposed to describe pretty blabby bags of sparkly stupid like Lindsay, but I feel like that objectively was the best one for how to describe the guy. I felt the wind blow through my own hair and realized how chilly I was sitting onto that damn roof in the Canadian evening. <laughs> All right, time to head back inside, I, I said, stooding up. I offered my hand to Cody, who looked a little too scared to get off the side of the roof. He gracefully took it and squeezed it until we were a safe distance from the edge. Now I'm going to sound like a total girl right now, but the whole thing... Thing. The whole time he had my hand, I swear I was dying inside. Anyway, <laughs> after we got back into the warmth of the, the pala, I headed back to my room, expecting to crash, but Cody followed me in there. Need something, dude? I asked as he shut the door behind him. We should have a sleepover, he proposed. I rolled my eyes. That happens at least once a week when you crash on my couch. Cody laughed. I mean, like, one that we stay up and play truth or dare and drink soda and pull an all-nighter. I need my beauty sleep, kid. 
He rolled his eyes this time. Right, I, I believe it can be your turn. <laughs> okay. Not like we have any obligations tomorrow. And after about five minutes of arguing back and forth, I finally gave in. The reason I didn't want to, want to give give him over what, what wasn't because I was tired, but more the but more the fact that that when I get tired, I don't think things through, and I end up spilling things that shouldn't be said out loud. <gasps> Cody ran to his room and to get his pajamas and blanket, and I went down to the kitchen to to to, to snatch a little liter, liter bottle of Pepsi. That is not I what I not read. <laughs> I thought it said liquor I instead of litter. <laughs> I, I don't know why. A litter of Pepsi. I know Mountain Dew is Kobe's favorite, but I just can't handle the dew. <laughs> Dude, can't you just let me sleep now? Cody poured more soda into his mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's a soda- <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's such a soda dick. Like me, by the way. Me too. I, I'm a- I, I am a bitch for Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Same. <laughs> it's only been an hour, and you spent 25 minutes of it working on- on your hair. Hey, a uh, whoa! <laughs> whoa! I feel like they shouldn't have used that word unless they are gay. <laughs> uh, should I actually read the whole word or should I? Maybe not. We'll just say what a gay's got to do. What a gay's got to do. I feel uh, like yeah, that's. That, I don't feel comfortable reading that whole word. Yeah, that's that's a no no word unless you're gay. <laughs> I mean, we both uh, are, yeah. but like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Especially for for a fan fiction about a gay ship. Yeah. Author, you gotta fix this. <laughs> yes, please. Please do. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah. A gay- A gay's gotta do what a gay's gotta do. Perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Fine, what, what do you want to do then? Let's play Kiss, Mary Kill. I raised an eyebrow. Don't you mean fuck, Mary Kill? Oh. Noah! Noah! What the hell? I guess that is the actual game, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I would never. <laughs> Cody shook his head. This is the version I play. It seems a bit more, uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled my eyes, but I smiled at him. Fine, Courtney, Heather, and Bridget. C C Cody had to put some thought into this one. Likely the dude never thought about anyone but Gwen. <laughs> Marry Bridget, uh, kiss Courtney, and kill Heather, I guess. Let's go! <laughs> Down yeah. with Heather. <laughs> yeah, honestly, same. Honestly, same here. <laughs> Cause Heather's a beach. Yeah, I, she's bad in Island. I will give her credit for World Tour, though. She was redeemable yeah, there. Too. Yeah, me too. The world thanks you for it. Your turn. He laid back against the wall. Both of us were sitting on my bed, but I'll probably kick him out when when he finally lets me sleep. Tyler, Duncan, and DJ. Oh, thank God he didn't put himself in there. <laughs> Ooh, that would have been gay panic. Yeah. Th <laughs> Kill Duncan. <gasps> oh. oh my God, I'm so offended right now. I don't know how I'm going to continue this recording. <laughs> Ripping into him. <laughs> I I know I know I know people don't think the same opinion as me, but you didn't have to kill the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> like damn. What makes Tyler better than Duncan anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I understand marrying DJ because like DJ yeah. is such a sweetheart, but like Tyler, his whole personality is getting hurt. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you like? Wouldn't you hurt him even with kissing him? Yeah. You you would probably kiss him and he falls over and like hits his head on like a pole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Oh god. <laughs> Mary DJ kissed Tyler, I replied. He nodded and took another drink of soda. He spelled soda with a capital, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> At this rate, the dude might get drunk, get drunk off Pepsi. Just like me. For real, real. Why is Cody so relatable in this? Like, mm -hmm. With the soda thing. Yeah. Like, that is like me, for real. When it comes to, like, drinking soda and such. Yeah, soda's good, bro. It's, it gives it you really little, is. the the bubblies and shit. Right? <laughs> it might be super unhealthy, but it's really good. Yeah. I, I have it as a treat now. I'm trying to, like, drink a lot of tea, but, like, once a month, I'll be like, I need... I need the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Understa understandable. I feel you. <laughs> okay, how about Ezekiel, Harold, and Eva? I smirked. So, throwing him the three most repulsive things to ever touch Wawanakwa. Damn. <laughs> Besides Chef's cooking, maybe. Darn, probably marry Eva. I bet I could handle her. <laughs> Kiss Harold and kill Zeke. Damn. Damn, Zeke getting really ripped into. Damn. <laughs> I mean, right. I wouldn't touch Zeke with a ten foot pole, so. <laughs> same. <laughs> I mean, same here. <laughs> so you're saying you'd kiss a dude? I tease. Eva's more. Eva's more of a dude than Harold, anyway. But but I guess I wouldn't wouldn't be opposed to it. Can't can't be much different than kissing a girl. You've never kissed a you've never kissed a girl, have you? Your lips are virgin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he nodded slowly, obviously embarrassed. I guess. I've never had a girlfriend either. Okay. Okay, now now, now I've just felt bad for the guy. Ha have you kissed anyone, Noah? He asked me, sitting up straight. I nodded. I've had one boyfriend, a dude back in ninth, ninth grade. We kissed once. Ah, he muttered. After that, the room filled with silence, sur surrounding by, by the raging of Courtney and the terrified screams of poor Harold. Damn, what is she doing to him? Is she, I think right now she's still hunting him down, right? Because she doesn't find him until yeah. the yeah, when they all get is. together for the, the big episode. <laughs> she definitely is. Dang. Sounds like sounds like she's like torturing the poor dude. <laughs> oh hey, I'd be Lord. screaming from, I'd be screaming from uh, Courtney too if I was being hunted with a giant pole. <laughs> uh, same here. <laughs> she should be in jail for. How is she not in jail for that? Like she's like, she's hitting someone. I mean, she's got good lawyers. I mean, true, true though, true. <laughs> anyway, I I find it funny when you curse. It's really because you seem so innocent that like when you yeah. curse, it like it sounds like it's coming out and over. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I've got a body valve. I'm not gonna lie. It reminds me of my coworker. Up, I guess. Yeah, it reminds me of my coworker Florence. She she's so sweet. She's like a six year old woman very sweet but like when a customer really angers her she like she gets done with the encounter acts professional but she walks away and she'll come up and be like that fucking bitch <laughs> and it's funny every time that's actually so funny <laughs> that's so funny that's really funny I love that I love it <laughs> oh I love that that's awesome <laughs> Fine, he said. He, he he set the bottle of soda on the floor, and 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 and, and to my surprise, he lay down next to me and, and got under the covers. What you doing there? Sleeping, he replied, sounded confused. I was about to kick him out until I realized what a great opportunity Ooh. this was. Great opportunity! Oh, Noah's Ooh. down bad right now. Oh shoot! It's getting down bad here. Oh dang. Oh, okay, okay. I know that sounded stalkerlicious, 
But I'm not going to rape him or anything. Please don't. Yeah, I don't want- Because that's a good way of us to close this book and never come back. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sneak in some cuddles. Fine. But, but don't kick me in your sleep or you'll wake up in the pool. <laughs> Deal, he said, and roll over to face the wall. I laid down and faced the same direction so that if we're any closer, I'd be spooning him. <laughs> that, that could be a rage. <laughs> but, I kept it, but I kept in my tight little pants and managed to fall asleep. To my dismay, without any physical contact with Cody. Damn. All right, I think that's going to do it, because that, that break kind of long. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, what you- what is this? <laughs> I, I saw it had a Discord notification, and it was you sending me the end thing! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, I God. Because I, I saw one of your uh, videos, your Q&A <laughs> video, and I saw you said that one of your childhood crushes was in, so that's why I sent that to you. Oh, thank you for watching that. <laughs> oh, of course, no problem. That that's probably my. I, I'm. I don't know which one I saw first. I don't know if I played Pokemon Black first or sold Total Drama first, but it's probably a tie between Duncan and N. Yeah. <laughs> Two characters with green hair. Green hair. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah. My my child my childhood me knew exactly what my tastes were. Yep. They they prepped me for this moment today. <laughs> You've got pretty good taste. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, like, just just look at N and Duncan. Duncan's like this mean bad boy type that would like kill, like, break my bones in an instant. And then you got N right. over here, who is such a sweetheart and just misunderstood, and just like was just like manipulated wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor dude's constant kiwi crushes for him. Damn. But, uh... We must protect. Yes. Protect him at all costs. I can't wait yes. to, like, see more of him. <laughs> oh, real green heart! Green heart. Yes! <laughs> Alright. his green hair. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now it is time for our favorite segment of every Wattpad video. And that is us spinning a wheel to determine how screw we are next recording session. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Let's see. Let's see what we're working with. Um, I believe if it does land on Chef X Chris, then we'll do another attempt of writing. But yes. everything else is reading. As long as it's not Noah X Cody, we'll read it. Because we don't want repeats yes. here. Oh, wait, which one is it? Which one is it? Oh, 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 okay. I was like, oh my god, we get to read Tess and Allie again. I was really hoping for that, but, but hey, but hey, it's cool. But hey, it's cool though. Yeah, I, I did enjoy the writing last time that we did it. It was nice. Yeah, it was really good, except for that, maybe aside from the ending where, um, <laughs> They had that uh, making love thing, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I, f I was talking about the, the chapter that we wrote. I completely forgot the end of the Tess and Allie one that they, like, made love. <laughs> it was, like, just, like, a black screen. And they were like, wow, that was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but God. It was, it was really good, though, honestly. It, it was. was but uh, if, if you guys would like to read the rest of this uh, Noah Cody book, if you guys don't want to wait another month for us to read it, <laughs> right. uh, we'll, I'll have a link down below. But uh, next recent video you see that has uh, has good old Kenzie in, on screen, we're going to be writing more Chef and Chris together. I'm very excited to see yeah. where that plot's going to go. Me too, honestly. Yeah. But anyway, my name is Phoenix, this is Kenzie, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.